Hey, what's up with your car? Aha, you went to a garage and not a dealership, right? You know, some of those places use counterfeit parts, even for air filters. It can be so dangerous. Listen up and I'll tell you why. Engines need fuel, right? To give us power, they also need clean air. The air filter removes dust from the air that goes into the engine everywhere we drive. It's such an important part. It gives the engine the clean air it needs. Oh yeah, and don't forget, it's a part that you need to change regularly. Take a look. There are different types of counterfeits out there. Check this one out. They're different colors, but that's not all. It's actually hard to see the differences just by looking at them. You know, they perform so differently. Some can remove enough dust, but they quickly clog up and affect airflow. Others have rubber seals that quickly become damaged and let dust in from the sides. Look at this. We put the filter in a holder to compare how much air passes through. See this tube? We put a ping pong ball in there so we can easily see how much air is coming through. Pretty cool, huh? The tube is located right where the air would be coming out and going into the engine. The higher the ball, the better. When they're new, they're about the same. All right, now we're going to compare them every 10,000 kilometers. Hmm, interesting. At 10,000 kilometers, the ball for the counterfeit air filter is already lower. At 20,000 kilometers, it's even lower. I wonder if it's starting to clog up. At 30,000 kilometers, the genuine part hasn't changed at all, but the counterfeit air filter has gone even lower. Whoa, even at 40,000 kilometers, the genuine air filter is still up there. Look at the counterfeit one. It's gone all the way down. As we drove, the counterfeit filter got worse and worse. The engine couldn't breathe in enough air, so it couldn't give us enough power. If you keep driving without enough air, it might even affect fuel economy. When we look closely at the counterfeit air filter, it's shorter by one millimeter and even has less pleats. The genuine filter also has 1.4 times the surface area to filter dust, so it would take longer for it to clog up. It continues to deliver the right amount of air to the engine while removing dust from the air. The amazing thing about the genuine air filter is that it continues to do both of these things for tens of thousands of kilometers. Now let's look at this part. This piece of rubber is really important. It stops dust from getting into the engine. Some counterfeit filters use low quality rubber that hardens and deforms due to engine heat. The affected rubber lets dust get in because the edges aren't properly sealed. We set up an interesting experiment to test the quality of the seal. We filled up a bag with orange dust and pulled air through a heated filter at the same rate an engine does. And here's the rubber seal that blocks the orange dust from getting into the engine. But when the rubber is damaged by heat, it can create gaps and dust can get in. Now let's compare the genuine filter to the counterfeit filter. When the orange dust crosses this border, it means dust is getting into the engine. Look at this area on the counterfeit filter. See where the dust is creeping in? It keeps coming in because air is flowing through the gap in the seal. We tried one more time, and guess what? This time, the dust came in from the side. With the genuine filter, it's still nice and clean. See, dust and even something like sand can come in from the sides when you use counterfeit filters and might end up in your engine. If sand gets in, it can potentially damage the engine. 
If you damage the inside of an engine, you might start hearing strange noises and have less power, or you may experience other engine problems. Now, you know why counterfeit parts can be so dangerous. I know what you're thinking. Where can I go to get a genuine air filter replacement? There you go.